Morning everybody, it's now Tuesday, um, didn't do a lot yesterday, well, I didn't do any filming yesterday. About to leave, already packing, come with me, I'm not really asking, we'll get away to a place where we don't know. I was busy sorting stuff out, trying to make room in places. Trying to work out the next steps of what I'm doing and getting ready to, for stuff to list. Um, I've got to go into town, get some thick sacks to send off my bowling pins. Um, I think I've got the boxes and that for the Wii bundle. That's got to go off today and I've got some James Bond bits to send off. Um, I uploaded two videos from the car boot on me and Jay flipping sloth done on Sunday. So I uploaded one yesterday and I've uploaded one this morning. One from the, the GoPro this morning and one from my phone on Sunday. The Monday, sorry. So yeah, we're just about to pop into town and then I will come back to you. Right guys, so this is how I pack the bowling pins up. They're in a box. So I just stick them in a couple of sacks. I usually only stick them in one. But these, for some reason, although I've got them from the same place, are thinner. So I've put a couple on there and wrapped it up well with tape. About 17 kilos, I think it costs about 30, just under 13 quid, about £12.60 or something to send. Alright everyone, let's turn that off. Um, yeah, I haven't done a lot of filming today, I've been packing up the uh, bowling pins. I've still got to do the wee. I uh, went out and got sacks for bowling pins. Uh, popped to the charity shops but they were rubbish. Got a couple of DVDs, nothing worth filming. And um, what's the other thing? I want a puzzle from the other one. I asked him why the prices had gone up and he said because someone told him the puzzles go for 15 to 18 quid so he decided he wasn't letting them go for a £1.50 which is a bit of a gutter. Um, said that's the only thing that he put the price up on but I bought that plush the other day and that had a tag on it with more on. So as you can see this is how busy I am guys. I'm, my car's still filled with stuff. So I think I've got puzzles and all that that I bought at Carbo. I bought that's the puzzle I bought today. Oh, I know it is one. Um, it's probably upside down actually for you guys. I'll show you it later. But um, I'm thinking I might just pull them crates out and um, take photos of them on the drive and just stick them on marketplace. Try and shift them while they're still in the car. If someone wants them. I don't know. There's two crates of DVDs and. Four crates, four crates of DVDs, sorry, and two crates of CDs. It's got to be worth fifty quid of anyone's money. So I'm gonna, uh, yeah, I'm gonna stick them on marketplace later. Try and shift them. That'd be another bit of stuff out of the way. I was gonna go and do the storage unit yesterday, but um, I was absolutely knackered yesterday after the weekend so yeah that was that but we are going to do some listings later and try and get rid of some more of it so I will I've got to go to drive pick my son up now so I'm just going over to Barnum to pick him up um, yes yeah, so I'm just going to pick my son up and then come back and crack on so we're just packing up the Wii Fit board Double wrapping that, and got the other bits to put in. Get all them packed up together, get all that off. And then we're gonna crack on with um, some listings and that. My wife did say she wants me to cut the grass today, but if I'm busy today, I'll have to do it tomorrow. Because I thought I'd rather get on with a load of listing. So, yep, yeah, I'll speak to you in a bit. Right everyone, so that's all boxed up, all nicely, all packed in, all bubble wrapped, all tight in there, just over seven and a half kilos, it's costing £10.98 by UPS, I went on parcel to go and chose UPS to send it by, so fully insured for £72.95, £10.98. Alright everyone, so there wasn't really a lot to film earlier. 
It's now dark outside, it's half past nine at night, so I'm picking some stuff out to list tomorrow because I haven't really managed to get stuff done today. I've listed a couple of bits of Badland stuff, but I'll list, I think I'm going to list the pedal. These bits are listed, I think some of them games aren't listed. Card shuffler is. There's a couple of little old cameras that aren't. So I might list those. Probably list this. It's only a Technica DVD, probably not worth much. Got some head cleaners that I bought with a video player, some VHS head cleaners. Um, all these trainers are on. So you've got a couple of pairs of Nikes, Ace, cut two pairs of A6s, um, those ones are Clarks I think, some women's ones, they're on, got loads of things of DVDs and that, puzzles, uh, this is full of games and puzzles, this all books, don't even know what books, the world of Downton Abbey. Got that. Got loads of boxes of old records. I've got a meat grinder in there that I bought, an old vintage meat grinder. Um, so, I've also sold, I think I've sold a Care Bear over in that, over in that Sainsbury bag. Over, just there's a purple Care Bear in there. I've just sold. So, so I've got a bag here that is literally filled with old, old jigsaws and different bits and pieces, junior artist. I don't go through that bag anymore because I'm knocking stuff everywhere. Got some old medical stuff I showed you before. But I think I'm just going to display stuff like this because I just think it's to display like I said I'm knocking everything over yeah it's just I think they call them a sinoscope it says something about voltage there so I haven't got a clue but they look very nice yeah they don't look very nice at all so it's quite a cool little thing. So I've got two of those for a fiver. I've knocked everything over there, so I'll sort that out tomorrow. I've got, what else have I got? So that's all on. I've got loads of bits down there, some of them that aren't on. Still got loads of stuff, still got the stuff in the car as well that I've got to sort out and shift. Um, there's more sunglasses over there. I didn't take them to the car boot with Jay, flipping sloth, because I just, I, I took loads of them as it was, there weren't no point in taking any more. So I've got a Smith Corona electric typewriter or printer over there that I'll, um, I think it's a typewriter. I'll put that on. Some more games in that black sack on top. All this stuff here is on. All the separates and that underneath are on. This isn't on yet. It's quite a nice little thing. So, it's quite cool. It's like a little radio and all the bits pop up on it and show you that. Show you 
little flips open like that. So it's quite nice. Quite a nice little thing. Now I'll shut that later. So yeah, I've got loads to be listing tomorrow. Uh, I've just got a couple of parcels to do, and that's the Care Bear and something else I sold. Oh, a couple of darts, like ninja, not ninja stars, but f like throwing darts from Into the Badlands. So they've got to go, and a one of the butterfly banner flags that's got to go as well. So that's all the stock I've still got in the room here. I've got two brand new steamers there, clove steamers. So it's probably in the next couple of weeks going to be a good time to sell those. When it all goes mad again. But yeah, so that's all the stuff I've got stock wise up here. We've still got all this stock in the back of the car. Sunglasses, leads. 78 records, I need to get them up and out. Um, ah, this old phone, I was supposed to be taking a photo of that for someone actually. So I picked that up at the car boot on Sunday. So I'll sort that out tomorrow. More DVDs and puzzles and bags of Into the Badlands bits, that's got to go on. And there's a Battery operated jar, dancing jar jar binks, foldable camping chairs, the old type. There's some of the Christmas puzzles and bits that I bought at the car boot on Sunday. With all that. That's more stock. And obviously I've come into my summer house. I've got an old Aladdin 25 lamp there. It's a vase from a Vita, which I've already showed you. Titanic boat kit there, some trainers I bought from a tanner, loads of bits and stuff down there, and then obviously you've seen all this before, but obviously not as stacked up as this. The Dr. Martins, I have to get them on because I paid 20 quid for them, so I paid up for those, but they've only been worn once and they're like a grey colour, so they must be worth some okay money. Toys and stuff. Um, well, that's just stacks and stacks of DVDs, Blu rays, old cameras. You've seen it all before, guys. It's just crazy. I've got old vases and an old Polaroid camera over there as well. Look, hidden over there. Polaroid, the Harp Lager thing. Um, Terminator head. My Lumen, Lumix camera, old pub signs, uh, pub paraphernalia there. So yeah, loads of stuff, and there's the big telly that my son's using with the Xbox at the minute. That's my my Richard the Lionheart night plaque. Um, yeah, oh, I've got some, got some Xbox One. Controllers there. I think I'm keeping those. Um, but I've got some Xbox 360 ones somewhere in some of these bags. But um, yeah, loads of stuff going on. Ink cartridges and everything. And boppets. Just plushes and loads of stuff for Christmas. So yeah. That's all the stock. Yeah, so I've got loads of sorting out to do, as, as you've seen before. Oh, I've got that big Marshall lamp there as well, and speaker. That's on eBay, DVD players, and you know, you've seen it all before, there's just stuff everywhere. Um, plus I've got, so I've got the storage next door, which is full up. I've got a shed around the back, which has got stuff in it. It's not full up, but it's got like, um, wooden, um, Ammo boxes from Fury. Um, we've got some of them next door as well. So I've got stuff everywhere. There's so much stock. I, I probably wouldn't have to buy anything till next year, really. 
if I didn't want to, but I can't. I can't give up bargains. See the old Viewmaster. I've done a done a wrong and buying that the other week for a pound from the car boot. Got my stuff in. Still make money on it, but it's not. It's not what I thought it was when I picked it up. So yeah, we um. So. Oh, it's the blue rays put on top. So I my boy's been in there. He's been taking blue rays out and not putting them in cases or anything. He just chucked it on the side. So that's not good. But yeah, so loads to do. Got my choice really of what to list tomorrow. So I've got two two things to pack. I've got to cut grass, and then it's listing. So we're just going to list the hell out of it. I keep saying it, and I keep listing bits, but I don't sort of spend days and days and days listing, which I need to do because there's just too much. So we need to crack on with that. I've done the car booting videos and that. I don't know whether we're going to be able to do any more. I've had people ask me if, I, if I'm going back to um, Apps Court Farm this Sunday. I don't think I will be. I've got so much else to do. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to make it. But yeah, so that's um, that's all the stuff we've got to get through and get listed and gone. So I'm going to leave it there for tonight. If you like the video, give it a big thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. If you are subscribed, thank you very much. And if you are subscribed, make sure you hit the notification bell so you know whenever I'm uploading a new video. And... So for now guys, that's it. I'll speak to you tomorrow. Night's Life! Subscribe to it. He's a lovely lad. They're a lovely family. It's a lovely life and he's a lovely man. Subscribe to him.